Hello, this is the user video manual for the Bathycat RC Survey Catamaran. We'll start by uh, what comes with the kit. Um, you get a Futaba long range transmitter and receiver. The receiver's inside. Um, Li Poly batteries, two of them. The boat is uh, HDPE, it's an enclosed hull. Catamaran style. Comes with two 11 pound thrusters, a transducer mounting bracket right here. This is the transducer cable pass through. It's waterproof. That's on the bottom side. On the top side, we'll have four carry handles. Um, we have the on-off switch. It's the main on-off switch. This is the hatch. It's about approximately 20 by 10 opening. We have a GPS mounting plate, standard 5 8 by 11. Inside, we have the other side of the transducer mounting plate, the top side of the Cable pass through for the transducer. We have two electronic thruster controllers, one on each hull, um, an XT90 plug for the batteries, um, some battery blocks that the Light Poly batteries will sit on. Um, outside, there are also two spare cable glands for any extra wires that you might want to bring through the hall. This is the Bathycat quick start guide. Um, first you just take the Bathycat, open the hatch. You're going to install your two Li Poly batteries. It's an XT90 connector on each side. You'll also attach the Velcro side of the battery onto the battery block. Twist. Okay, once both batteries are installed, you can uh, close down the hatch. We're going to turn on the Futaba remote. Left stick down, back to the middle to disable the alarm. Now I always, look, I always like to check the trims on the bottom are all zero, that's good. Right now, both sticks are in the middle, right and left. It moves like a skid steer, so we're gonna use both sticks. I turn on the remote. You'll hear the motor sink. Now I'm gonna test to see if both props spin. Right, one click right, good. One click left, good. Reverse, good. Reverse, good. These are counter-rotating, so they should both, forward should, they should be rotating inward. So, make sure you check that. On the Bathy Cat, we use a Futaba transmitter. This is the T6K. These are long range, usually for airplanes, so we get extra long range out of them. That's why we like them. Um, it uses a Four AA batteries in the back, so you can swap those out in the field anytime. Um, when you turn on the transmitter, you'll see the warning alarm. We are going to set that back to down to the left and back to the middle. Um, when we do start up, I always like to both sticks in the middle. Um, I always like to start off by making sure my trims on the bottom are zero. You adjust those with these little tabs here. In the field, you can use those for balancing the prop speed. Um, but for now, I like to start off with zero. Um, since we're using skid steer on this boat, if you ever notice that um, if you go one click on each side and there, one's moving a lot faster than the other, we could do what's called a throttle range calibration. Um, how I do that is 
I shut off the boat. I'm going to do the right side first. So to do that, I'll unplug the left battery. I will do put the right stick forward to the max, turn it on, two beeps, put it to the middle, wait, and then check, it's going good. I'll shut that off. I will attach the right battery and move to the left. I will put the left stick forward, two beeps. Move it to the middle. Now I will check. It's good. And they should at least be close. And you can go with, with that. Anything that's not covered uh, will be in the uh, Futaba T6K manual. That's online. Um, also, you're going to receive a program card with the Vacky Cat. What this does is if you run into trouble, and actually there's four different settings on this electronic speed controller. Back to the factory settings that I set it to. Um, we would just turn it on. You'll see the card there. And there's four settings. This is setting one. Value two is for forward and reverse. If it was a one, it would just be forward only. Value two is for um, Auto calculate the LiPoly cells in the batteries. Setting three is for the LiPoly cutoff. I set it at um, just about 12 volts. If you go too low on LiPolys, they will not come back. And item four is timing. That's more for racing motors. Um, so we're gonna set that to zero. So it's two, one, three, one. It's pretty simple to do. It should never change, but if it does, you have the program card. Charging of the LiPoly batteries. It's very simple, but we'll go over it anyway. This is the new style cube charger, which is much easier than the early generations LiPoly chargers. Had a lot of settings. Um, you just standard 110 plug, plug it into the wall, Find the balance plug on the LiPoly battery. It'll have the wires and a white clip. Um, this charger can do a two cell, three cell, and four cell battery. So find the right plug. It's in the middle on here. Let's just plug in the white clip and it'll start charging. It'll let you know on top when it's at 100%. That's it. Okay, we're going to go over the thrusters on the bottom of the Bathy Cat. Um, they're very low cost, well built, and easy to work on. So I really like these things. Um, to start, you would just need a four millimeter Allen head and you can remove this plate right here. Um, after the plate is off on the bottom, to remove this nozzle, you'll use a two millimeter Allen. Um, four of those and then this will pull off and you can get to the bottom Phillips head. So you just use the Phillips head, four of these, loosen these up, remove them, and this assembly will pull apart. That's if you have a need to change the prop or do anything else, you can do that. Um, a bit of a warning, these screws, when you put it back in, I always say, stop before it's tight. Very, you have to have a very gentle hand with that or you'll crack the nozzle. So be careful with that. Um, normally you can clean the prop just by leaving it on and just pulling debris out, hosing it off and stuff like that. But if you do need to change, um, you know, you could do that. And remember, these are counter rotating props. So, um, you want them to rotate in, make sure you do the right one. Uh, if you ever need to remove the whole assembly and replace the thruster motor, we've designed it so that this wire can come out. Loosen the cable gland inside, and this wire can come out in one piece. No cutting and resoldering. Um, you just pull one um, bullet fitting out at a time. So one, two, three, and then this whole wire will come out. Next, we're going to cover the 
transducer install on the Bathy Cat. Um, the BL200 um, transducer echo sounder um, not only can be used in here, but it's removable and you can use the um, mounting kit to put on uh, any any small craft that you have. So to start, um, we're going to open up the hatch and you'll see this cable pass through right here. It's a uh, large bore, so it can uh, take the all the connectors that we have. I'm using a uh, cordless, but you can use standard drill head if you screw drill up that if you want. Okay, take this cover off, take the screw out. I'm gonna pop this plug out. This is the, the, uh, okay, I'm gonna set that aside. Now I'm going to, okay, then I'm gonna flip the boat over on its side. Um, I do like to leave this out. Um, you could put some dialectic grease right here if you're going to be in salt water so it does not um, seize up. So, I'm going to turn that on. I like to help the go around. Make sure it's secure. You know there's a transducer cover boot on here for protection. Um, just don't leave that on when you're surveying. So then I'm going to make sure the wire is untwined, uncurled. Um, this is why it's a large bore. I can fit the whole USB and power cord right through. I'm going to feed it all through. You could uh, open the back if you like. Make a little more room. And... You may keep this on your boat for a year, years, but you know, at least a few minutes work, you can always remove it and uh, put it on another craft. So there we are, we're through the bottom. I'm gonna take the rubber. It actually has a slice in it. This is the rubber block. We're gonna come over around this way now. You can move on the inside. Um, we're gonna put this around the cable. We're gonna move it on down. I'm also gonna put this through the cable clam. Clam. Bring those through. At the end, uh, you can curl this wire this cable up and make it look nice and neat. Okay, at this stage I can put this boat back down. And we are almost there. I'm just going to slide this down a bit like that. I'm gonna bring the cable clam down, put it right inside. That's good. We're right there. We're going to line these four screws up. Cable clam is in. There we are. Take our screw gun again. I'm going to have it set to five. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to get it to tighten. And I'm going to start. I'm not going to fully tighten them all yet. So as this clamps down, it will actually... Compress the rubber fitting and seal the wire. And it works well. Really good. And there we are. Now the transducer is through the boat. up and now it can be used. It can, you can bring it into the data collector or 
whatever else you're using. Next, we'll cover the cleaning and maintenance of the Bathy Cat. Um, let's start with the inside. Um, no water should actually get in, but if any does, um, usually before you spin it around, uh, dry it out, um, paper towels or sponge. Uh, if it's salt water inside, you might want to uh, remove the water, dry it out, and then get a damp cloth or damp sponge and then wipe up anywhere, you know, to get the salt residue out. Um, but that is rare if it does happen. Um, on the outside, um, after use, you could seal the hatch and you can hose it off. Um, obviously remove any, you know, mud or debris that's stuck to the side. Um, if, it, if you do use it in salt water, you definitely want to take a little extra care and definitely rinse it well. I like to um, run the props very slowly and shoot um, water in on them so it gets, you know, all the moving parts. Uh, these thrusters are lubricated with water, so, you know, you don't want to normally run them dry. Uh, other than that, you could just dry it out and um, everything should be good to go. If, uh, if you're ever, um, you know, going to do a remote job, um, definitely consider going on our website and buying a few spare parts. Uh, things to have um, backup would be a uh, Futaba receiver. Um, maybe a couple batteries. Uh, I would have a whole thruster assembly um, and that comes with uh, two spare props also. Um, some waterproof silicone, small tube of that, maybe some electrical tape and some tools if you're ever going to um, take it out.